Hey, this is Shag, and it's time for more Scribblenauts Unlimited. Last time we did something, but, um, since last time I've been randomly screwing around trying to figure out things that exist. Pay no attention to the grouchy looking lady in the tuxedo. We are going to be Maxwell. I never, I certainly never used the avatar editor to make something. Nope. Okay, anyway. So last time we did some of this crap. And this time, we'll get back to you, Hyphen Heights. I'm going to start off with the Meta Forest. It contains what I call the hippie lumberjack dilemma, or perhaps conundrum. It's an interesting dilemma. Let's get to it immediately. Screw that guy. So over here we have Maxwell's two brothers. Serenity, who wants Jack to not cut down the tree. And Jack, who wants to cut down the tree. Now, I think you have to reset the level in order to complete both of these. But it was much harder for me to find a way for the hippie to win. I mean, for example... If you give the hippie an SMG, the lumberjack stares the tree down using his magic bullet mind, and, uh, yeah, I don't even know. You can't give the hippie anything, because the lumberjack will take it, basically. I mean, one time I made the tree invincible. Let's see. Make the tree invincible. Oh, what? That worked this time? Hey, it didn't work before! I made the tree invincible before, and I gave the guy an axe. And, like, then my... My tree alarm went off, as you can hear. Basically, what I mean is that... It, it didn't work. He just sat there flailing uselessly at the tree, but the hippie lost anyway. Now, I'm gonna reset one more time to show you the solution I had to do. The only thing I could think of at the time, since the invincibility tree didn't work. It's a running trend. But let's be fair. Anywho, now on to the rest of the tasks in this area. What do we have? These bugs are endless! Help me keep them away! Well... I don't know exactly how badly you want to keep those bugs away, but apparently that badly works! Alright. Burn down the forest, not my problem. Good job, dude. Look what you've done! And while we're here, we might as well help some Boy Scout earn his merit badge or something. I used to be a Boy Scout. My merit badge did not involve any of this crap. Actually, each of these would be an individual merit badge, most likely. Give him a tool to carve this log! Safety measures! Are for losers! Ha ha ha. Give the scout something to put the dummy out. Hey. Kid. Kid. Kid, listen to me. Why do you have a deeper voice than every other male in this game? Okay, that's not entirely accurate, but... I guess he got his puberty merit badge already. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna let him take out his anger so he doesn't accidentally kill his scoutmaster or something. Yeah, I know. There's a hint about putting out a fire. I get it. But he has to kill this chainsaw first. Wait for it, game. There. Now have at that fire. Whoa, long-range mastery. 
give the scout something to fix the dummy's wounds. It doesn't have any wounds. It's a crash test dummy. Uh, Band-aids are branded curses. Just, just bandage the heck out of that thing. There you go. And lastly, I think lastly, well, almost lastly, target shooting. Hmm. No, too much. Okay, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Hmm. Here, jump in this. Look, look, I'll show you. There was a clown in it. Oh god. Go away. Good, there's not an infinite supply of clowns. That's for the best. Fine, fine. I'll give you like a... Like a... I don't know. Have at it. Oh, right. Right. <laughs> Safety equipment and whatever. Just staple those headphones to your hair. I don't... I don't know. Uh... Here, try this. Wait, what? He killed a satellite? I don't think I remember that happening. Murderer. No, oh, shut up about the White House. Oh, I definitely didn't get Starlight Pieces through my goofing around because of some accidentally summoned things. Nope. Also, I didn't actually get this achievement before for getting 16 star rights. Let's see if it works this time. Ahoy. Ahoy. Looks like it did. And that's why you don't sail ships on the land, kids. But we'll get there later. His ship is the this ship is the Listy Colon. That's all you need to know about that area for now. Back to the forest. What else can we ruin today? Hey, chef. My nose isn't good enough to sniff out truffles alone. Well, hmm. Do we have to actually give you a pig? Or can I, no, I can't give you a pig nose, I guess. Hmm, hmm, hmm. We will give you the finest in travel sensing technology. And then the pig will eat it. Well, the, the, whatever. Okay, next. Nothing wrong over here. We need to fly. Let's see, how can we fly today? Maxwell, sit on Carla. This seems perfectly reasonable. Now, where are the problems at? What's this? Pollinate the fruit tree! Well, fine. I'm just going to be super lazy about it. Why don't I? Ha! And who needs bees when you can just summon your problem-solving material? I think I found a Sasquatch den, but I have no way to document it. Hmm. Well, 
I guess that doesn't really help if I give him a Sasquatch. You can't document Sasquatch with Sasquatch. What am I gonna do? Uh, here! Do your best approximation of... I guess you did your best approximation of... I was expecting that to not work. Okie dokie. Oh no. Carla's stuck. My kite is stuck in the tree, says Patches. We saw you earlier. Get kite to a sail. Uh, I hang on a second. <laughs> Here we go. Here you go, little boy. Pay no attention to the giant sea serpent of death. Everything is a okay. We can now play as patches. What's going on over here? Hey, hey! Don't be afraid of the. Fine. Help us finish the treehouse. Well, who cares about doing work? Just here's the treehouse. No, come back. I wrote that she was friendly. You can trust me on this one. Um, let's just uh, pretend that they're still up here. Uh, Carla, I'll be right back. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, kid. Hey. Yes! Use your psychic powers for good and not evil. Actually, I don't know. Give me that back. What else? Gotta fix these wolves, right? If I could raise a human cub... Well... I guess we can do that. Let's make it a little more wolf-like for ease of use. Maybe. No, he's a shaman. And we're missing something. We're missing something. What are we missing? This is not a comfortable place to sleep! This dirt! This is a problem that humans and humanity must solve. Uh There you go. Totally work. You're not supposed to step on it, you punk. Sasquatch mad. Anyway, uh I can't spell. This is totally how camping works. Always bring your giant bag of money with you on a camping trip. Hmm. Away! Da 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 the laziest way to move around ever. Hyphen Heights. I'm out to get you. I accidentally saw you earlier. I probably don't need this hacksaw. Uh, nothing suspicious about me, no sir. Uh, um... There. Nothing wrong here. Alright, what's the problems? What's the problems? Help me befriend the birds, says the old lady. Well, uh... Sure. What do birds like? Hmm. Look at me be entirely uncreative. Birds like fountains. So let's put a fountain in the middle of the road and cause numerous traffic problems. I need to teach this dog a trick. Hmm. Hmm. Nope, no Rubik's Cube. Here, have a rubber cube. Teach this ball to fetch cubes. Wait, what? 
I don't even know what that meant. This is important as the maybe summoning a cube gave me a free star eight piece. I don't know. Uh, fine. Do the boring thing. Hmm. Wait a minute. Not gonna go fetch the stick that's gonna electrify you? Well, okay, I guess that works too. Looks like he's having fun time with it. What do I gotta do? I'll get to your problems eventually. Hang on. Five more minutes. Help me become a better basketball player. Well, that's easy. No? No flubber. Oh no. How can I make you a comedy movie? Uh, uh, uh. Here, train in sports. Train! Train, I said! Okay, fine. Maybe if you just smother your shoes in rubber, it'll be fine. Hey, that's vaguely ball shaped, too. Come on, man. How about this? Wow, you're just gonna dismissively kick that over, huh? Fine. Ah, oh, you're so picky. Alright then, who's this jerk? Oh, a cheerleader. Ha, you can't cheer without your pom-pom. Go and be a soccer player. Jerks. Any problems down here? Uh, what's this? The grass is overgrown! That cube will take care of it. Go on, cube! I can make this work. Oh, whoops. I scared away a bully by making an aggressive bouncing rubber cube. Kill the grass! Kill it! Kill it! Wait, no. Got a better idea. A. Cube. Cube. Eat that grass! Eat it! Oh. I accidentally fired magic. Hmm, rubber dove, huh? Can I turn all the grass into doves? You, you go away. This is important. Magic bed! Do your stuff. Hmm. Come to think of it. Magic school bus, do your stuff. Ha! It's funny because that's a line. Grass, I will defeat you! Become prettier. Curses, the pretty is in the way of the grass. Okay, we can do this. Oh. Ta-da! School bus! Oh, wait! Oh, wait, old man. You're a problem. Aren't you? Will you help 
us get our ball. Be careful not to touch the old man's lawn. I guess driving over it in a magical school bus does not count. Here you go. You could also do it by the traditional method. No one will ever know. That's just how he sleeps on his lawn, guys. He doesn't have a porch, he has to make do. Help the boyfriend on his big date! Alrighty then. We can do this. I'm all about the big dates. Begin by help helping him look presentable. You look plenty presentable already, man. Let's see. Listening. Yes, that'll work. No? I guess you can't wear both eyes. Fine! Try this. You look great. I swear. I'm not making this up. Fine, okay, actually. I will make this up. No? Not satisfied? Fine. Here, here. Ugh. You're so horrible. Can't anyone be less picky these days? You got a wower with your unique style, not your boring old tuxedo. You look exactly the same, except with a different coat. The boyfriend can't show up without a ride. What should he pick her up in? Well, if I've learned anything about cars. She will love this vehicle. However, he cannot show up empty-handed. Well, she loves the vehicle. There's only one solution. Hey, hey. What did you even give her? Uh... Fine, whatever. Try this. No? Uh... Any gun? Now is not the time. You're not empty-handed. By definition, you are holding something. I... I think I messed it up by trying to make him hold a car. Let's try this again. Alright, Mr. Fancy Pants. Make yourself look presentable. Those aren't pants at all? Yeah, whatever. Okay, uh... Tuxedo, torpedo, you know, same difference. Alright. Now he needs a ride. Perfect. I'm glad that it knows how to spell better than I do. Here. 
Hey, she stole his submarine. <laughs> Help set the mood. Create something to make the dinner more romantic. Hmm. It says it's romantic. Come on, guys. Ugh. Double violin! Triple violin. How did that happen? Next up. Well, that was quick. What do they need at the wedding? No, I didn't mean laser cake. This is very important. Ta-da! Hey, wait a minute. You dropped that! Hey! Drop that hologram! This is... hey, that was important. Fine! Ugh! <laughs> uh. Just, just get it over with. The short, short version. Fair, good, you're married. Now I will steal your firstborn child. I mean Starlight. Close enough. Freaking projector screen man stealing my giant, glistening, amazing holographic layer cake or whatever I typed. Anything else in this area? Quite a bit, actually. Alright. We got problems to solve, and we got to solve problems. Hey, what's up, Flux? My 3D glasses make anyone on the screen look 3D! This is a problem because 3D technology is prone to failure and making your eyes hurt. Uh... Let's call on our old pal, the Shogoth. Now that's the best thing to see in 3D ever. I wish someone would give me something romantic like in the movies. Hang on, hang on. I've got to park this better. I can't park this bus! Oh my gosh. Anyway, um... Let's see. Let's see. Romantic... Jet plane. There! Look. Look at this amazing movie film. He will give you this most romantic of jet planes. And you will fall in love. Now go marry that man for his plane. These foods are... Try my new magical movie treats! Yeah, yeah, whatever. Oh no! I've turned into... A hot dog. How horrible. Also a banana. It's
it's peanut butter jelly time, etc. I thought that was actually like an optional thing. No? Perhaps not? Oh no, I'm also a hamburger. How horrible. Let's get out of here. What else do we need to do? This pizza will be cold by the time I deliver it on foot. Well, have I got the vehicle for you, sir? Use responsibly, please! And lastly... Is this lastly? It is lastly. Help improve the neighborhood! Start by bringing down this old building. Hmm... Proper safety measures have been not. Wait, the dynamite didn't even explode before the building did. It, it jumped the gun, the fuse, the something. A new structure needs to occupy the empty lot, create some things the citizens would enjoy. Okay. Aww. It's not like I totally didn't see that coming at all. What's this? Here, have a graveyard! Yay, graveyard party, everyone. Alright, spread the word that the graveyard is ready for use. Wait, I don't think this graveyard's good enough. Alright, now... Get to it. Yes, I'm sure this will increase customers by no percent. Wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube man. Now playing in hell, the graveyard. Everybody line up in the hell graveyard for the wacky waving inflatable arm waving tube men because I don't know why they're in this game. Level complete, let's get out of here. Oh hey, a corgi stack. What's that doing in here? Away! Yeah, fooling around in my off time. Pretty fun. Okay. Let's also just finish high school while we're here. I mean, might as well. Maybe later we can even go to college and talk about how useless the educational system is. I have one Corgi left. I don't need you, Corgi. Not right now. Place a critter in the class for me! Oh wait, I guess I did need a Corgi. Hey, will this work? Carla? No. Okay. Uh, let's see... Flailing doesn't work? Well, I guess floating. Here, have a magic heart. Did you just put a hamster wheel in a fish cage? One day. One day you will evolve. What do you want? I want to make everyone laugh. Hmm, let's see. How can you make everyone laugh? With immature humor! Apparently that's also a Starlight piece. Use it for good! Oh wait, you're a clown. You can't do that. Hang on, you know what else would be funny? We'll just tell him you died laughing. Alright, alright. I want to meet someone in the middle of their career. Hmm. Well, 
a knight's work is never done. I guess paladins are not rich. You cannot marry them for money. Well, unless that giant sword is worth approximately one billion million dollars. Zonbato! Attack! Hey, hey, hey! I thought we agreed about clowns, man. Don't make me Zonbato, you. Which I did. I guess. There should be something to salute at the top of this flagpole. Here. Salute that. No? Okay. Uh... Is this close enough? Salute... Salute the weather. Yeah? No? God, everyone's so picky in this. Alright. There. Much better. Much better. Alright. What adventures await in this direction? Accidental anti-bullying number two! I was supposed to save that guy from the bully, and apparently having a giant sparkling rainbow sword did as such. Now I am the bully! <laughs> Wait, no, that's a bad thing. Maxwell is no longer dancing, I should fix this. Uh... Yes, problem solved. Um, let's find some more problems to solve. Protect me from the dodgeballs. Use this. No. No. Really? <sighs> let's see. You can hide in that. Hmm. Close enough. Why was there a, why is there a wrench? I don't even know. You know what? I don't think Maxwell looks good in rainbow. What's over here? Put something in my pot to serve these students for lunch. Uh, no. I was trying to put that in your pot, lady. Lady. How about this? Serve him disco. Beach ball? Baseball? Well, uh, this is technically a... Hey, you're in the way of your god dang pot there. Unless you can only put one thing in it, or two. Footballs are sometimes called pigskins. That works, right? No? Fine. Uh... Hang on, hang on. Mystery meat doesn't work? Surely this will be close enough. Are you gonna cook or what? Oh wait, did we already... Did I screw it up? Darn it! This game is not responding correctly to me being... Terrible. I'm trying to be terrible, right? I'm trying to be terrible, okay? I'm trying to be terrible! 
Ah. Here. This won't cause you any problems, I swear. What's in the lunchbox? A sandwich. Here, cook this sandwich. Yeah? Eh, no. Maybe I fixed that problem without realizing it. This playground is lame! It needs more interesting attractions. That's interesting. Isn't it? You can play morality games. Oh, come on. Don't be like that. Uh. Wait, no. Let's see. Come try the Wheel of Super Doom and Death. Everything will be great. See, what you do is you just climb it and sit on top of it until it explodes. Amusement park rides are great! Okay, uh... Let's see... We're missing some problems. No? Uh... Yeah, okay, whatever. Um... Aha! Help the student win the science fair by creating a dastardly creature. Now this is my kind of experiment, I guess. First, give the paramecium a source of nutrition. Human blood. No? Human blob? Hmm, indeed. Blood doesn't work. You can summon a blue screen of death. Good enough. It needs some heat to help it grow. Putting the sun in the middle of the classroom surely won't be a problem. Give it something creatures would need. Let's see. Every creature needs tentacles. I should help integrate it into society. Well, that's easy. Just need to make it look the part. Fill. Now we need to give it a name. You can actually just summon random letters. Your name is Gfn. Or GFN. Enjoy. Yeah, it's great you win the science fair and all, but I think I'm gonna have to put this thing out of its misery. I'm gonna have to summon my formidable ally. Zanbato! Uh, Zanbato? Oh god, it's invincible! Run for your life! Mad science is truly mad. I need to make I need to keep that sword around though. Hey, what made you turn into a clown? No clowning. No crying. Nope. 
whatever you're doing. Why are you so resilient? Ah! The ship is back! Protect yourself from this! Ah! That lunch lady was really a man. Traumatizing children. Theme parks do not belong here. Found the youth. You better be sad. I'll give you something to be sad about. I will punish all of the evil children. And this Ferris wheel. Just give me some time. Hang on. Almost there. Alright, anything else left? Not for long. Destroy everything! <laughs> Did I actually put the sword in my backpack? No, I didn't. So, um, now that I've for absolutely no reason murdered everything, I guess this has been Shag. And. I need to pay for my crimes. See you next time.